time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. East Providence police say there's been a recent spike in scam calls. And they say they've noticed something new about those calls. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with the story. A local woman says she wanted to share her mom's story. It's an important story that we can learn from about extremely convincing scam artists. But her mom is embarrassed about the situation, so we agreed to keep their identities private. Someone told her that your, your grandchild's in, in serious trouble. To her mom, the caller was convincing. Yeah, he was supposedly in a car accident and he got taken to jail. Her mother is 95 years old and doesn't drive, so the caller sent a cab to take her to the bank. She was instructed to withdraw thousands of dollars and send the money to an address down south. She got in a cab. She got her coat. She got in the cab. She didn't call me. These guys wanted 8500 and she was going to get it. She went to get the 8500 because she believed that she was going to take care of the situation. Detective Lieutenant Raymond Blinn says in just one week, East Providence police got involved in three similar investigations. The thing that's new for us is people are actually calling local cab companies and having them go pick up these people um, already prepaid for the cab um, and then bring them to the store and then either having them wire the money or ship it. Police tell us they've interviewed the taxi drivers and determined they're not involved in the scam. And police don't believe the three recent cases are connected. But they say they are reminders that scammers are out there and they're creative. And this can happen to anybody. If you have an elderly parent and they're living alone, just sort of be more aware of what's going on with the telephone. Fortunately, in this case, the scammers didn't get any money, but in the other two recent cases, people lost thousands. According to the Federal Trade Commission, there are some things to keep in mind to protect yourself from family emergency scams. First, resist the urge to act immediately. Verify the person's identity by asking questions that a stranger wouldn't be able to answer. Call the person's real phone number and check out the story with friends or family. Of course, if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.